We've got Steve in Derby. Dinky do, Steve. Dinky do. How are you, mate? Not bad, thank you. I'm just wondering if you could help me with a problem, if possible. Anything. Um, I've just recently uh, split up from my girlfriend. She she left about two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, we was having a lot of, having a lot of problems while uh, while we was being together. Um, she still loves me and I still love her. But the problem is that um, she's gone and left, and she's she's taking um, drugs on, and she's just basically taking taking too many drugs and. and um, like yesterday, she had two XD and um, a 69. I don't know what a 69 is. All I've been told is it's to do with um, speed and um, draw, which is a mixed mixture, which formed into a tablet. Um, she drank three bottles of wine yesterday. Um, she's already on tranquilizers at the doctor's because of the split up. But Steve, uh, Steve, why, why have you split up? Um, because of my jealousy. Jealous of what? Of uh, the things she used to say to me and the things she used to do. Can you give us a for instance? Um, without, without giving too much away? Uh, it's a bit difficult, really. It, it was mainly me, you know, the reason why we split up. I, basically, I was just I was a jealous person. Jealous of what, though? Jealous of, um, of uh, looking at other people and things like that. Well, wouldn't it be better to just go and see her and patch all this up before it gets out of hand? Well, I, I've tried. Hey? I've tried, and she's basically saying... She's basically saying she can't live, and she and she needs these tablets to, because she keeps seeing pictures of me. She can't sleep. I can't sleep. She can't sleep. Well, I think you're going to have to get together and sort it out, Steve. I mean, it's it's twenty six minutes past ten o'clock. Why don't you give it a ring? Because they signed the phone down her parents, and that's where the dilemma I'm in. What age is this girl? I don't thirty two. Well, what's it? What, what are her parents slamming the phone down for? Because they don't want me to talk to her. And the, the, she, I mean, yesterday I said to you, you know, you've got to stop this. And she says, um, uh, 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 you know, she hasn't got, she hasn't got nowhere. She hasn't got, you know, she hasn't got a hope or anything like that. And she's just basically, I mean, she's lost, she's lost a stone in ten days. And she's, you know, well, you obviously mean a lot to her, and she obviously means a lot to you. I mean, I don't know what the two of you are playing at. I'm really worried about her. Well, I mean, I think, and, and, you know, and I don't know where it's because they you know, I don't go to to a mum and say, you know, she's taking this such and such. I mean, did you used to stay? To, did you used to stay together? We lived with yeah for two years. Um, well, I mean, I think you I should. Know, I mean, a little daughter who's got who's gone with her, and I've got you know because I was separated before. And and, and is that you? Is that your little daughter? No, no, it's her daughter. And I said to you know, you got to think about it, you know your daughter as well. And she says. Um, basically, she's saying I don't care, and then she's turning it on me, onto me, and saying, "Well, you don't care either." And I'm saying to her, "She sounds like a wee bit of a drama queen when the chips are down, though." No, she isn't. I mean, she's she's normally a really, really strong person. I mean, do you think she's genuinely taking these drugs, or do you think she's telling you she's that? Them in front of me. Well, that that says it all, then, doesn't it? She's gone. I'm taking these drugs because look what you've done to me. Yeah, but you know, it's all said and done. You know, she's taking it, but she's taking them for a reason, and she's taking them because she's down, and she's taking them because she she still cares for me, and you know, and I and I want to, you know, find a way where I can help her, not not basically saying, well, you, you know, you, you you're doing it for sympathy and things like that. She needs help. Yeah, well, well, no, I think I think she needs you and her to sit down and and sort it out. I mean, do you want to get back back oh, together? Oh yeah, of course I do. I mean, I, I love her to bits. It's, you know, I've, I've never felt so much love for somebody in my life. Right. Well, why don't you, if if you can't talk to her at her parents, can you not go around and see her? Well, she came yesterday and she's on about. I mean, she she came until five o'clock this morning and, and then went and, and she couldn't even walk. She couldn't even walk. I've not I've never seen her like that. You know, I've not seen her in that position before. And and I'm worried today. She's going in drug dens and she's she's, she's but I don't know what buckets are. She's having buckets and and she's on about. You know, she's got she basically saying she's got no hope. There's no hope for her. There's no hope for her. That's what it's basically. No, oh, no, oh, come on, man. Listen, go and see her or ring her up, you know, and say, look, you just want to speak to her. Don't be slamming the phone down because you're worried about her health. Are you going to get back together with her? I hope so. Well, uh, you know, I, 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 I wanted to stop as soon as because I'm really yeah, worried. Because yeah, well, the go, reason go, why I'm worried is because she's taking ed um, uh, her parents are giving her sleeping tablets because the doctors are giving her sleeping tablets, so she's taking them on oh, top of them. For heaven's sake. Are her parents a little bit highly strong? They don't know about it. Nobody knows, only me. Nobody knows, and that's the dilemma I'm in. You know, because if I go and tell them, they're not going to believe me anyway, and she would deny that. Well, if she's living with her parents... Well, she's living with her mum and her two sisters and... and they must know. Family. 
They don't know. They just think it's actually drinking. And that's the dilemma I'm in. Well, I think you're going to have to... You're going to, If you can't go round and see her and you can't phone her, I would write her a letter. Okay. And I would, I would deliver the letter, type the envelope so our parents don't tear it up or something like that. It's just a bad mess, and then she's, you know, I'm scared that she's going to do something. Yeah. And she's taking XD, and I really wouldn't, you know, what, what XD can do to you. Yeah, well, you get round, that, get round there in the morning with a letter, but see if you can type the envelope in through the letterbox, addressed to her, and all that. All right, I'm sorry to trouble you anyway. No, you're never troubling me. Listen, that's what I'm here for. You're never troubling me. Okay, There's no problem with that. You, you've done very well to come on because at least you've discussed it with somebody else. And that's what I would do. I just wish she realises how much I do love her. She, of course she does. Of course she does. Otherwise she wouldn't be going on like that. But you'll need to discuss the whole jealousy thing and, and, and deal with it. Well, I, I've openly admitted it. I, you know, I'm, I, I'm not scared to admit that I, I am a jealous... You know, I am. Yeah. But there's been reasons why she's made me do that. Yeah, but the green-eyed monster, you know, it's a, it's a dangerous thing. It's probably the most dangerous emotion of all. Well, I know that now. You know, so really, you'll, you'll have to get it under control. Okay, then. You get a letter round to your first thing, or you try phoning on that, or whatever. Okay, then. You get back in touch and get talking. Thanks very much, anyway, for listening. All right, mate. You take great care. Cheers, then. Bye. See you, Steve. Right, Steve and Darby there.